Hey, my name is Ismat Shah. I'm a professor of material science and engineering and physics and astronomy. One of the um, things that we believe in in Islam is that it's a complete religion. So if it's a, if it is a complete religion, you cannot have your professional life separate from your religious life. And they both reinforce each other. For me, being a scientist, when I see inside an atom and see all of these little particles that you know do the wonderful thing of of making us exist um, then you see the power of something beyond that mm -hmm. so it's a constant desire to know what is beyond a certain mm -hmm. limit that's what science is and that's what religion is Th there are some frictions and that is just because of our lack of knowledge about certain mm -hmm. things when we get to that point that frictions will go away So as a Muslim, we are supposed to do a few things, right? So one of the things that is required that we do is to pray five times a day. And we've been doing it for the last 1400 years. So you wash, you, you clean up your hands and feet and face and whatnot. So hygienically, it's wonderful. So almost on a daily basis, it affects me because my religious practices make me a little cleaner person in that regard. Then why five times? It starts from the first thing when you rise when you wake up. Uh, so that sort of starts your day off and it ends with the last thing that you do before you go to bed. So there's a good uh, end um, ends to your day. Uh, and in between, like right now they say that um, sitting down is the next smoking. So as a professor, when I sit down on my computer, I just lose track of time. If you have to pray five times a day, you obviously get up even though you should be getting up every 15, 20 minutes, but at least every hour or two hours we get up and pray. And praying itself is a, uh, if you see yoga uh, moves, and if you see a Muslim prayer, you see the similarity between those two. I do not have any personal item. In fact, in, in, in our religion, it is uh, almost forbidden to have association with the material thing that you can then get so much attachment with that you, instead of following God, mm -hmm. uh, you follow that thing, you know, uh, whatever. Some people have a, a piece of stone, a mm -hmm. ring. So they're not ex strictly forbidden, uh, but there's a limit to it. You don't see any, I'm married. I've been married for last uh, almost 30 years, um, but I don't wear a ring or anything because that ring again, Although, yeah, it signifies love and affection and connection and whatnot. I can do all of that without wearing the ring. That's what I do. To me, the most important thing, uh, which kind of I look forward to every year, mm -hmm. is the fasting part. It's just an unbelievable exercise where you... Uh, so if you're fasting, you're automatically a little bit more um, observing. Uh, so you pray all those five prayers uh, and you just try to be a better human being mm -hmm. while you're fasting. You should do that all the time, but especially when, while you're fasting. But it just brings you so much closer to humanity. Um, I have, I'm from Pakistan, so one of the poorest countries. I have traveled to many different places where the poverty is just absolutely incredible. And when we talk about hunger, we, our, our concept of hunger is totally different from people who do not have any hope for getting any food at all in the next week or 10 days. Mm -hmm. That's hunger. So at, there are times when you uh, feel helpless, right? There are certain things that you, you do whatever you can possibly do. And then after that you say, okay, what else? Um, th those are the times that you seek some divine uh, pacification. Um, so, uh, for example, uh, I came here and my mom, my mother and father passed away in Pakistan. Um, I wish that I was there with them, uh, but I couldn't and I wasn't. Um, at that time, that's when you sort of seek solace in the religion uh, because there's nothing else. And again, it's not just a uh, a religion, is, religion is not just a panacea that when you feel bad, that's the only time that you, you seek it. Uh, but it certainly is a lot more comforting uh, in, in a, a time of trouble. Uh, 
I think if you look at any of these religions, the first thing they teach is tolerance. Mm -hmm. And uh, whether it is a Muslim or Christian or Hindu or uh, Jew, um, there's so much common in all of these religions. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Well-being of a human being is the m most common thing in all of these things. So why don't we look at that and compare notes on how well we are doing in terms of making human being better rather than looking at the differences. So I think uh, we need to talk more about tolerance in all these religions.